anyway. Let's go for it. I'm gonna start immediately, alright? Because this might take a while. So, alright, let's do a little bit of introduction about this. The point of this is to be an quote-unquote fun plus challenging run. Uh, it's kind of inspired in other games that do similar stuff. Uh, you know, there's categories like low percent on some games. Where you have a completion percent and you can actually go the lowest possible and they're usually the hardest categories <clears throat> and sometimes the most annoying too because you're doing literally everything in your power uh, to maintain this restriction even at the price of going slower in some points um, because the restriction is more important than the speed. The speed is, let's say, secondary. Like, if you master it enough, you can go for more speed, of course. But uh, the idea is to maintain the restriction. So, it also was kind of inspired on some challenges for, like, for instance, low pulse for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and a button challenge for Mario 64 though that one is like TIS only <laughs> but it's still part of the inspiration at least as, as a concept of beating a game doing a low amount of stuff and well in turn of darkness the thing we do not necessarily the most but the thing that is like the central core of the game is doing spells. We do spells to advance, um, to continue the story, and to also make our gameplay easier and faster. So the idea here is to restrict that and just do the mandatory spells. And of course that means uh, we're using any means necessary so we're gonna be using uh, a lot of glitches and stuff uh, maybe not a lot of them considering most of them are done using spells <laughs> but there are some glitches that will allow us to reduce the count the intended count at least for the game So the, three, the first um, three chapters, three, yeah, um, this one, Elia and Anthony are just the same, really, because we don't have spells up to Anthony, and in Anthony, there's no way to reduce the amount of spells. Not yet, at least. Of course, if at some point, we discover a way to reduce uh, the mark of spells I'm gonna do on this run then this run is gonna be invalid let's say <laughs> or like old record if you want because the point of the category is to be the lowest one not to be the fastest one only if you have the same amount of spells uh, time is gonna be important That was fine. So yeah, for the first three chapters, I actually have my splits for any percent because it's just the same. So you're, you're not gonna see any goals there. After that, you're gonna see many, many goals. Say what was the true beginning? All of them Your are going to be in goals because this is just the first of them.
Also, something to take into account about the rules. Um, this counts everything that is casted. Even if you fail the spell, it counts as a spell. If you fail to, to complete the spell. So, we gotta be cautious about that, of course. And another thing, spells made by either NPCs that help you or items are not allowed to. I mean, they are allowed, but only if you need them, and we really don't need any of them, so technically they are not allowed. So that only includes Elia Amulet, Karim Talisman, and the Elia Repair NPC. And that's about it. So yeah, we're not gonna use those things. The talisman kind of hurts on Kareem. You'll see why later. Run a little bit too much there. Alright, so to, to have us a perspective of this, uh, the attempt here is to to beat the game with only... I'm gonna bring spoilers here, if you don't want spoilers, don't hear this part, okay? <laughs> uh, yo, Onikai-sama, how are you doing? How's it going? So the spoiler is, uh, I'll beat the game with 32 spells. Um, that's the idea. That's the minimal amount I have theorized and tested. Uh, with current knowledge, we cannot really go under that. And to give you perspective, um, a normal 80% uses about 97 to 110 spells. So it's like more than triple. And I guess a normal casual run can take about 150, I guess, maybe even 200. Right, Elia, can do it. Thanks. And yeah, that, that makes this category pretty hardcore compared to any other category. Well, if you can call this a category, it's more like a challenge. It's not like everyone else is gonna play this. <laughs> pretty sure about that. Fuck. Made a mistake there. No, but it's fine. Should be okay. So I'm still gonna go, gonna try to go fast on a lot of parts, especially parts that are very similar to my percent. There's no reason to go slow, basically. Only if we need to to get lower spells. Another interesting stuff uh, about the rules. Uh, some of the spells that we are going to skip are things that only work with a percentage, you know, and like having a quote unquote single segment without dying, it's kind of out of out of question. So what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm allowing save files and loading, basically. 
So I'm allowed to make a save file and load it if I die or if I mess up something. And that's because there are some spells that you have like just a percentage of, of being able to, to do the trick. And I'm definitely not interested in wasting like three hours up to that point to lose just a run for something that doesn't depend on me, you know? From my it's just, research, it's just boring. It apparent <laughs> the endeavor... But yeah, the only rule is that you don't use save files that you have previously, of course. You only are allowed to make save files while on the run. And the timer will never stop. That's another thing. So all the loading time, all the time you're wasting on doing that, it's gonna go into your timer, of course. So you're still punished for that. Oh my god, what is oh, it? What happened? This is devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared, feared the, the most. most. So I need to remember to increase the counters. I have two counters here on my splits. One is for the amount of spells I have done in the run. And the other is for the amount of loads I do uh, every time I load a save file, basically. It's just to have an idea of how many times I fail a trick, you know? <laughs> There's some tricks that really just kill your run. And I'll keep track of the spells, of course, because it's kind of the most important part of the run. So like I said before, Anthony, Anthony is the first chapter where we have spells, uh, but there's there's no way to reduce the amount we use on any percent really. So we're just gonna do the same as normal. So it, it, it basically it's basically going to loop just like any percent. Things are going to get crazy starting to read. Let's open this thing. Good. 
and then kill the bishop. So, you have come to return my... I did one extra attack there. The farther you start the attack, the better. But if you start too far away, you're not gonna land it. So I, I tried to save way too much time there. Nice. That's a very late trapper. Because it disappeared completely. this just horror and then we can go to Kareem where Alex four really before Kareem and then Kareem See how good is this? That's pretty good for an enemy percent. Yep, that's fine. Now we gotta go to the second floor and we're gonna break a key and we're gonna need to repair it. So no way around that really. Dreams. Modern psychology of All right, so Kareem. Something we do a lot in Kareem on A percent and Mantra percent too is you see recovery. And also we attempt to do uh, an extra enchantment, which is optional by the way. Uh, but the real thing that speeds up this chapter a lot is recovery. Because we can just abuse getting damage, uh, like vision damage from the enemies. We cannot afford that now. We can't even use the talisman. Because remember, it doesn't affect your stat directly, it does a spell. Like, we can still use things that affect our stats directly. Like, for instance, uh, Liquid Courage for Edward, Meditation Rod for Paul, or Michael Elixir on Peter. Because they don't cast spells, you know? That's, that's the idea. But the Talisman does a normal recovery. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's not allowed to, to, to be used.
horror, be nice. Please. That was decent. So, no quick heal. Because I want this guy. Want the sanity. Oh, look at that. There's a bug in my screen. Pretty good. Yo, Sianbeo. Our recovery means this is a rough category. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's slow. I don't know if I can kill all of them. Yeah, I can. Nice. Using the only spells are required to solve puzzles? Yeah, essentially, yes. And there are also some others that are kind of intended that are going to be skipped. Oh, I think I fucked up here. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter too much. I hope it's fine. No, it's fine. That's not fine. So yeah, um, later in the run you're gonna see uh, which parts are kind of more important. And where the difference really came. But yeah, the main thing we do here on Kareem is skip at most sanity damage as possible. And there's something I'm gonna get here. I thought I did. Whatever. The idea was to skip that fucker. <laughs> yeah, we might see that a lot of times. 
So because I get trapped, whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for this health. It's fine. It's kind of useful. I was so close to it. And I can skip the horror here because I have way too much HP and sanity. Waste too many chagrams at the beginning, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, that fire survived. That's not cool. So the cutscene makes the enemies disappear when they are in finished state. That speeds up some stuff. Here I'm doing it more or less just because of it's more safe. More than anything else. Um, it still saves time on this part, but it has to be done slightly different than what I did there. Alright, so we need this. No way around that. We still hadn't discovered a way to go past this door. So... So now, Ale uh, Max. <laughs> Not Alex. By the sudden mention. So Max is pretty similar. Uh, we actually don't do a lot of spells on Max on any percent. The only extra spells we do is some extra enchantments to heal some enemies faster. And a recovery that we do to skip a sanity epic that is fixed. But that's about it. So this is one of the most similar episodes apart from the first one of course. The first three ones that are just exact exact same. So this this might look a little bit familiar if you have seen any percent. Now that's different, getting the saber. 
That isn't normal. Got a bad angle there. Nothing I can do about it. Also something you're going to notice, well, maybe, <laughs> is that I'm not gonna do most spells. Because it, most of them I just don't need don't need it. I'm gonna be skipping a lot of spells. And that means a lot of creation in the menu. It actually saves a little bit of time compared to other categories. Yeah, I'm also gonna save a lot of time on assignments. So... Alright, that's a bummer. The lady fucked me so bad, I just forgot about the lady. Remember, I cast this spell counts. So I need to load. There's no way around it. Rules are rules. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So, I'm gonna have five spells when I'm gonna be on, let's see, there is two enchants. There's one enchant here and another, yeah. On oh, no, Alex, yeah. That's why you want to save a lot on this category. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, like the menu is, is pretty cool on this on this game, but at least uh, it's slightly better for my hands. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting used to it. Like, I think the thing that uh, affects me the most, uh, more than menu, I think, is some tricks the game has. Some very specific tricks. 
uh, on movement and things like that. The menu is not that bad. Yo, thank you for the follow. I'm pretty low on HP. Better. I gotta kill the horror. Stupid talisman. I use the talisman by the way. Good thing I say there. Yeah, talisman comes as an armor spell. Because he actually casts a spell. So I'm not allowed to use it. Even if I fail the spell, it doesn't matter. It still counts. I kind of want to kill these guys. Can't really afford that many, that much sanity damage. Otherwise, the the bounty if it's it's going to to put me on low, low health. I don't get hit, I'm gonna be okay.
And yeah, the horror takes about seven seconds to die. Plus, you have to finish it. So it's faster to just see a cutscene. To skip the death. Alright. <laughs> now we are actually on max screen. Now it's fine. It's time I'm going to save before the lady. And I'm gonna do the reveal invisible in a way safer place. Far away from her. I, I might even heal her. Uh, what are you doing, Alex? Are you going there? Tired. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention. again this time you'll be fine so please pistol I was about to say please stall fling look please pistol it's kind of hard to pronounce that It's another bad angle. Um, okay. You don't want to waste more than two bullets there. I still need the saver for this part, so it's fine. I'll save here. Just in case I messed up again. That's another thing, there's plenty of places where you just can't save. So you gotta be aware of where you can do it and when. Where's the lady? There you are, fucker. Alright, six. I need one bullet here, at least. For 
the zombie. What's going on here? I almost got the tree. But yeah, that that's any effect. Uh, we normally skip that. And we normally try to do uh, an enchant item on this barrier, but none of that is going to happen. We're gonna go straight into the Guardian. So the Guardian is actually not that different. There's gonna be six shots. I have more than six bullets, so it's fine. What is gonna be different is two teleports. Though it behaved extremely well. That was kind of awesome. Just that part. Everything else was bullshit. <laughs> Alright, no sequel yet. We're probably gonna get on pole. We gotta do a reveal invisible. Seven spells. Actually, I'm probably going to get it after Lindsay, not after Paul. The Ancients' influence was incredible. Alright, Lindsay is kind of a special chapter because uh, we do a lot of recoveries on this chapter normally, like a lot, with capital letters, I guess like 10 or 12 even, it's a lot. So we gotta find a way around that, and the way around that is just kill some enemies. It's just as simple as that, basically. You just have to play really well, exactly. On this chapter there are no recovery items, and in the game there's actually no recovery items. Um, what we have is... We have some... Some items that refill or stats, like we have some sanity refillers for Paul and Edward, and there's a magic refiller too on Peter. But all the items that go in for health uh, cast I uh, cast spells, so I'm actually not allowed to use them. And uh, there's no anymore, by the way, on on the game really. They are just like in Elia and Prim. So the only way around that is killing enemies so we maintain good sanity. I want shotgun. And the other thing we can do, and we are going to do a lot, is using trappers. We are going to use a lot of trappers on this run. Sadly there's no trappers on the lower places of Lindsay. So we just have to play well. 
There wasn't. I just killed a trapper, right? But that trapper is is like right on the beginning, so we can't really use it for this chapter. It's, it's not that useful. All right, that's gonna suck. So that's an extra, an extra damage I don't want. But where? Yeah, exactly. This spell. Don't look at me. Okay. Nice. Alright, so doing a ki kind of a specific movement there, I can skip uh, the vision of this horror. And I can kill it instantly then. And it's very useful. Because I just recovered that sanity and I didn't lose any sanity for that. And I kinda want this guy to die on the trap. There you go. You can usually get that way faster, but whatever. It's fine. Don't look at me, please. Thanks. You too. Alright. So I skipped two visions there. That's pretty good. Uh, how's the sign? The sign is looking, looking fine. If you have, like, if you don't have a lot of sanity here, you can kill the Reaper to get more. Reapers die really quickly. So it's really not a time loss at all. Since we we can't really cast any recoveries for stamina, we're going to be saving stamina using using the reload of weapons mostly. So no tricks here. On the button because slow spells. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yo, thank you for the good luck. It seems that my my OBS just decided to turn turn off, but now it's fine again. Kind of weird. But yeah, we're back. You didn't lose anything. So have a good one, Cian. Thank you for watching. Remember me, Alex. This isn't really happening. Yeah, there's a bunch of zombies here. I need to kill. So 
from here, I think I can skip most of the kills. Because I got pretty good sanity. Uh, I'm still gonna go for some of them. Uh, like here, I can get some. These are gonna be the last ones. With these, we can go to the end. Fuck. Okay. I hope this fogger don't activate. All right. <laughs> Never mind. mainly since I need to wait anyways I'd rather do it doing something else I really don't need those <laughs> really whatever Side effects apart from the TV shutdown. Ah, we are good on health. A little bit lower than that, and you are low health, and that means you are super slow, and that sucks. Ah, there's another one. So I might see the sequel here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, since I really can do spells, I cannot skip that. I mean, I can technically do it using a save file, but yeah, it's. Dispel here. So I actually did two loads on Kareem. I just remember. Did one when I fucked up on Max, and then another the one for the position. talisman because I did a talisman. So that's two loads. Just forgot to to press that counter. All right, this is another chapter that is not that different for any person because. Paul has 
a very broken item and a very broken sanity and that combination makes this chapter fairly easy really so we're going to play normally here Mostly. The only non normal thing is gonna be not doing pulls. And that's it actually. Yeah, just avoiding all the pulls. That means we need to sneak a lot. Yo, Stella, how are you doing? Was it going tonight? Too soon. All right, that's great. So we're gonna see some stamina management on this chapter. A lot of it, actually. I had mapped out the stamina entirely here, but I've done a little bit of practice on that. This time I actually won the crush ball. Not only for the glitch, but for trappers. And take some arrows later. When I'm, I'm coming back to that part, the basement. So no spells on Anthony, of course. Just the same battle, but this time uh, I can optimize second phase a little bit better. Because I don't have to worry about the spell. I should be able to do that on 8% too. slightly faster so if you want to hit the head of Anthony when he's really really low by the way you, you can only hit him when when he starts doing the the reanimation animation <laughs> and so since you from where you see the the yellow sparkling thing you can start hitting him uh, because you can basically start targeting him uh, what you want to do is when he's really really low on waking up you want to swing the maze on the entire animation you know you don't want to cancel the maze animation and that's how you get those hits and after that when he's like 
on his knees, you can start doing uh, animation cancels. I mean, auto cancels. Uh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do people really play like this? <laughs> but yeah, on the last chapter you're gonna see something very different from what people... how people play the game. But yeah, on this chapter, this is it's definitely looking like casual. Not seen without heads, so you you want you don't want to cut the heads of the blue ones. I'm gonna do an early meditation because I don't want any health damage. The health of Paul is just so bad. He's so weak. I mean, he's just a monk. He's more a man of of letters. Are there any super rare side effects? Uh, yes, totally. It's not good. Um, like I think the most rare ones are when you get the sepia effects on this chapter. And on Peter chapter, uh, in the case of this, this chapter is a flash forward into Peter chapter, and in the case of Peter, is a flashback into this chapter. I think you need like zero sanity to get those ones, and it's still even with zero sanity, it's kind of a, a probability of getting them. Hello, Don Doll, by the way. Another one that is kind of rare, I don't see too often, is tiny monsters. When you enter a room and you see very, very tiny, cute monsters in the floor, then you can basically step on them and kill them. That is kind of a weird one. You don't see that very often. Oh, and I think one of the weirdest ones, because I never got that in a speedrun, but essentially because I don't save, I know, <laughs> but still, is the save delet deletion, save destruction, when you're trying to save and the game tries to destroy all your saves. <laughs> That's definitely the worst one, when you are... Uh, when you play this game for the first time, if it cuts you off guard, you're gonna suffer so much. How oh, confident I am that I've seen them all. Hmm. 95%, I guess. Brother Andrew suspected all yeah, I think all along. I have a list of them. But yeah, there's this problem. There can always be something I'm missing. Don't doubt that. Alright, 
I'm using meditation rod after this room. Because I don't want side effects. We're doing one spell less here. Or skipping shield. Uh creature. Reveal this spell. Oh, I miss uh, the trapper. Uh, let's do it now. So I don't need that much sanity here, really. And um, as far as I, I, I am over fifty percent. I'm not gonna get any bad sanity. Like that's the only thing I want here. So the infant somebody should look into game fast adventure. Yeah. Um, thank you for the good luck. Actually, uh, there's one that already did that. A toast look at the game files and there is a part that is written on the code on actual text where you can pretty much see uh, all the at least all the names come on dude there you go you can see all the names of the sanity effects written there. So taking those names and watching all the sanities, like the list we have, we can kind of tell if we are missing any. For the good look. Uh, yeah, it's on the Discord. Um, though it's pretty far, you have to to search for it. But uh, give me give me a second. I can give you a link for the Discord of Eternal Darkness. to do this while I'm playing. Alright, so that's Eternal Darkness Discord. Um, you can either talk to Toast there, people Toast, or just talk to me, I'm Pandora Jane there, and to remind me, so I, so I can search the, the thing for you, but it, it's somewhere in the Discord. Uh, a user posted a while ago. It's an image. And if you don't want the image, if you want the... Wait, what do I have to do now? Oh, piano. Okay, let's do a late split, whatever. It's fine. If you want a, a list, now don't worry, I can do it now. It's not that hard to play, and not that optimized category. While doing more stuff, um, useful. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. Actually, I want the speedrun.com link.
guides. Here, Talon. This other link has another link <laughs> to a document uh, that we are doing as a collective work that has everything we know about the game, basically. Uh, there's a tab in that document that goes into Sunny FX, and I think everything's listed there. There, there might be something out. Because I hadn't looked into Sunny FX for a while, but basically everything we know is there. Tricky one. So no attack here, of course. When I go around these trappers. Oh, it trapped me, whatever. Let's use it then. What do I need? Okay, let's go for Sanity. Give me Sanity. Please. Come on, fucker. Be nice. Thanks for that. I have worked a lot in that document. <laughs> Many, many hours there. So normally I want to do this thing later on this chapter on another trapper. But since I got that one, it's whatever. Let's just do it immediately. So we're gonna go for the reveal immediately, actually. No zombie yet. I think I can go immediately for it. Might be wrong. I just sign it if I can do it from that side. Alright, All right, please don't look at me. Thank you. Yeah, 
That one can be confused a lot uh, with the with the dismembering, the one I just got. But it's actually different. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. I really like that one actually. Alright, no side damage, that's pretty good. Because I need full HP for what I'm going to do next. Otherwise I'm fucked up. Alright, here we go. So, normally, you are intended to use a shield here, or a bunch of shields. But we're not going to use them. Instead, we're going to just walk. Doing animation cancels. So that was a lot of health damage. And we still have to go the other way around. If you don't do animation cancels, I think it's not possible to do this. You can go one way around, but you cannot go back. You need at least one shield. So this saves a spell. Like this is the, the first real difficult spell to get around. That actually requires a glitch. Let's see if I can go back. I run out of stamina, so I better go safe this time. The main problem is that Roberto is just too slow. Okay, nice. I'm not low. Low health. That's so good. I don't want to be low health with Roberto, it just sucks. He's so fucking slow. I'm like one hit away from low health. Alright, I'm gonna play safe here. I'm not gonna cancel the, the thing early. I didn't do it early. <laughs> Not that early at least. Hello friend. What's going on here? I actually need you. I'm not going on this speed to the end of the level, no thanks. Come on. Give it to me. There you go, you can do it. So let's see if there is a zombie here. Yeah, there's a red zombie there. I can be kinda dangerous. Yeah, because this is a, a red trapper dimension, so it has red zombies. Can do it. Let's go. Alright. So here we're gonna get Kareem Effigy. 
We're gonna need that for later. And all the surveys are gone. We can just go away from here, finally. Stop looking at me. Don't want your damage. Thank you. Where are these fuckers? There's one there. Yeah, one option is to go for the crossbow for those fuckers. I should probably just do that. You know, uh, I think there is. I, I can think of one um, visual novel that would probably be kind of hard to speedrun and not just, you know, just click. And that one is Valhalla. Because you need to do a lot of tricky stuff there, if you want to optimize it. <laughs> so, on Alex 8th, there is... No, this is Alex 9. Yeah, Alex 9, there is no... Or is Alex 8? Wait a minute. Well, whatever. And this Alex, <laughs> we don't need any any spells. The war to end all wars. It's pretty good, actually. We defined how mankind. There's a bunch of Alex that doesn't require spells. That's pretty good. All right, let's go, Peter. The journalists in the battlefield of War War One. Everyone else, stamina. What's that? What's that noise? a little bit here and I need to stick a little bit more actually whatever okay trapper <laughs> No way around this door, sadly. Not yet. We might find a way someday. But for now, we need to summon that fucker. Bind. 
horror. Reveal. This spell. Uh, attic. An item. What else can I get? Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, whatever. Don't remember the other one I need. But yeah, we did the same. Uh, we only skip shields, actually. Oh, lights back. Uh, I did spell, and I failed it, by the way, so let's save, I mean, let's load, because I watched the magic going down, that means I actually did the spell, but I failed it, whatever, that works. So I didn't go on the cutscene, on the cutscene, but... Doesn't matter too much. That's another load. here so we can hopefully avoid one of the bone tips I can actually avoid that one too it's kind of slow no FX yet we're gonna start losing HP here And the next one too. All right, so Any effect? This isn't really happening. Don't hit me. Thank you. to get health damage there. On here. This one was also on purpose. Because I want my sanity back. I guess I'm gonna use another chopper. <laughs> I wanted to avoid that. 
I still have one trouble here. Not that one. Yeah, you can you can get away with just one trapper on this chapter, but I play kind of risky there. Give me a red. Come on. There you go. Oh, almost. Come on. Be nice. I have no way to manipulate this, by the way. I mean, to know why is the one that is going to appear. I can kind of manipulate by doing this movement. Like, I, I manipulate into change it to another one. I'm gonna get some side damage here, which sucks, but I should still be okay. And all of this for this bullshit. Now I want to avoid this one. Be a nice one, please. Good. Guardian. So back to the old strats here. Because I don't have shields, I cannot cast Adag immediately. I need to wait. Now this next phase is gonna be the same, and this phase is the only reason why I need sanity, again because no shields, so these zombies can actually fucked up by my cast if I receive damage. That's one, two. way to kill this guardian without spell as far as we know so the only way to lower the spell count here is um, from a casual perspective at least is to just do three of them and from a speedrun perspective this is exactly what we do on 80% so there's not too much difference from there but basically when you normally play the game you usually go for like you you're very risky and, and like such a like a good player if you go for for level seven attacks because they are 
kind of hard to time. So people usually go for five attacks or three attacks, like three level. And three, if you do only three level, you're gonna get nine spells there. If you do five, you can have six. And of course, with seven, you only use three, which is the, the lowest amount possible now, at least. Effects. I'm impressed. And sound. You are not you free. Are not free. Let's skip this one because I, I miss the, the split. I can get that later. So there's a lot of spells in Edward on 80%. Uh, we do a bunch on the mansion. And we do a couple on Enga. There is three pools for Enga. And on the mansion we do three reveals, one enchant, one shield. <coughs> and another enchant, of course. It's kind of a lot of spells. Here we're just gonna do one. Just an enchantment, nothing else, because we need to do it, is to repair uh, a key. There's no way around that. But yeah, this, this episode can be tricky. So I, I need like a very safe, safe out here. Yeah, punch the book. Grab that. So no reveal here. Yo, fast Dister, how's it going? Thank you for the good luck. Yo, what's this? I think there was a, a cat fight outside of my house. I hope it's not one of my cats. Maybe you can hear it actually, it's kind of... Jesus. Give me a second. Just want to be sure. Alright, I think it's fine. Yo, leave alone. What are you doing? I can't trade those those seconds for the safety of my cats. It's fine. So how are we gonna fight this bugger without reveal invisible? Well we don't we just don't need it. Really. Just make things easier. But it's not necessary. There you go. And we're watching this. Yeah, cat safety. Always important. Thank you for that. I'm gonna use it now. 
So that cutscene right there, I just watch a cutscene on my menu to skip another cutscene in the game. Okay, some bullets. And the elephant gone. You can actually skip it. There's a way to kill the vampire. Uh, you just have to get on the way of the vampire and that makes the vampire goes aggro against you and you can lure it so he attacks one of the servants here in the main hall so that that skips the vampire from going to that room the thing is elephant gun makes the the other faces really easy and actually faster so i think overall it kind of saves time or is maybe tied and also, like I said, this is a hard category. I really don't want to get any hit, hopefully, with the vampire. So the elephant gun came, comes handy for that. Oh, fucker. Enter the door at the same time. I wonder what is gonna happen. Oh, nothing. Okay. Yeah. First run ever of this this meme. Why are you hiding those bullets from me when there is a fucking vampire? Fucking invisible monster in the house. What happened in Peter's chapter? I forgot to split, so I just skipped the split. But I'm gonna get the time for that split later. Like when I get the, the run finish, I can see the the video and get the actual time. So yeah, here we just wait. We normally would be doing spells here. But you know, low spells, so we're not doing anything really yet. Just wait one entire minute for the vampire to appear. Nothing else to do really. Uh, it's going for for one of the servants. Where you at? Can you? Okay. Oh fuck you. That's not good. The stairs always fucked up your your shots. There you go. There's no way to skip this cutscene because when you kill the vampire here, you go immediately into into the cutscene. It's not like the others when where you see the the vampire escaping actually. Oh yeah, this this fucker is. Oh that that's gonna be a problem. I'm sorry, but I had to do that. That's not a spell. Uh, I want to save her. You see, I play extremely safe.
Come on, really? Okay, at least it didn't kill me. Uh, never mind. Oh, that was super close. Sanity is good, okay. Yeah, I, I think the, the shots on the on the shotgun were pretty bad. I was kind of far away. Because the, the double shotgun the basically gives maximum damage. Uh, if you're extremely close. It's a lot of damage, by the way. I think it's the strongest weapon on the game. Alright. So now Enga, the corpse city. I'm just ignoring that guy or girl, whatever it is. to start with number nine. Is that right? Yeah, it's number nine. So, Argon. No, actually, I want that. Or here, hopefully, I can skip the vision. We'll see. Yeah, it's gonna roar. It didn't work. Really? You're fucking strong, dude. Oh, uh, never mind. Let's just ignore that that guy. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous actually. I just forgot that this horror is the strongest horror in the game. Hello Guardian. Goodbye Guardian. Hello again. Where did your shield go? So, there's a spell here that has to be skipped. Is the um, the damage field of that guardian? Now it's it's actually easy to skip it, even from a casual perspective. The only thing you have to do is wait two minutes. <laughs> um, like that's the I guess the intended way to skip it. Uh, you can just wait two minutes and the shield disappears. Now, you can do it faster using exploits. Uh, one exploit or one glitch. The exploit is what I did. You just leave the room, enter the room again, and actually leaving the room cancels the cast of the spell. So the shield never goes up, and this is really bad actually. I want a trapper. I just forgot that. Whatever. Let's don't die. I'm gonna lose a lot of time here, but it's fine. Never mind, I just died. 
I should have canceled that. Another load. All right, I've been punished. Let's watch the bumper again. They didn't save after that, right? Don't think so. So that's one spell less because it, that was the enchantment. Yeah. All right, that's for a victory. That's how it goes. Really need to say it more often. <laughs> oh, yeah, save her. By the way, I think the, the vampire always do the same order of attacks on the servants. I didn't want that. Whatever. Don't need that ammunition. Let's see if this time I can get the bumper to go aggro. So remember, that cutscene is to skip the bumper cutscene. Because the bumper cutscene takes a lot of time. Even more than watching another cutscene. That takes about 7 seconds. The bumper cutscene takes like... 10, I think? 13? Don't remember exactly. I know the first one is... Is lower. You know, I can technically move this servant closer, but 
if she has less HP, maybe the vampire is gonna is gonna consume her faster. I kind of don't want that. Oh, that was pretty pretty exciting. Oh, how do you fail that? Where are you going? There you go. You just spill orange soda all over the carpet. Oh fuck. <laughs> that sucks. Is that an actual carpet or like carpet floor? Like if you live on an apartment or something like that. a better fight. Alright, this time I'm gonna save here. Fucking around this time, please. You always have to. You always need to have some sanity, so the guardians don't do health damage to you. That's like the most important thing about Enga. That was close. This time I'm completely going to ignore this this horror because it's really just too strong. As long as you have like just a little bit of sanity, uh, you're still going to receive all the damage only to your sanity and not to your health. That's something you really have to know if you want to optimize sanity. Uh, that fucker is gonna be annoying. Can you explode, please? No, you can't. Or whatever.
good. That's actually good. That I, I, I make that trapper explode from there. It's gonna be useful for later. Because I actually... I can't go all this chapter without using trappers. If I play well. Now that's the difficult part, of course, but doesn't mean it's impossible. That's why I didn't do the last time. I went zero sanity into this place. And that that is a punishment of course. I got health damage instead of sanity damage. And since the guardians do so much sanity damage, the health is actually pretty high too. So this is sneak fest because no police. So you've got to sneak a lot. I you know I kind of feel I have the, the, the little theory that Sneak... Sneak might be faster on stairs. What is this number? It's number two. Because when you are on some stairs, I don't know if it works with all of them, but in some stairs, when you're moving up them, if you move too slow on them, or walking, or just staying on some places, um, what happens is that the stair moves you a little bit down to the like to the ne next step. So my theory is that maybe if you if you sneak on them, uh, you might go faster than normal. I decimated that one. <laughs> Two fucking shots for a trapper. I could have killed that that horror, actually. But whatever. waiting there I mean fighting there one of them died There's just a... Uh, what do we have there? We have a horror that maybe can see me. So after this, if that one doesn't see me, I can go full sanity. So we don't have it. more scary noises. So 
this one right here. It's very unlikely that it sees you, but I I got seen by this one a couple times. Yeah, that's fine. So let's rest a little bit from those noises. to number try to reload the weapon when I'm low on stamina so I technically don't lose time because I need to wait any, any anyways I gotta do number five Now four, there's three left. Come on. That sucks. <laughs> so by the way, at this point, 80% is already done. Just not as that. We're on two hours, 14. Of course I did like massive mistakes. I know that. Like probably half an hour or more in mistakes. But still, that kind of tells you about this Kateri. Because this is absolutely not the largest split. The largest one is Alex at the end. Sword. Hello there. How are you doing? Don't look at me, please. Thank you. Because if that, if that horror looks at me, that means uh, sighting damage into low sanity and creepy noises. This guy is making a new game. You hear? No. Like, an actual new one? Tell me more about it, if you want. Ugh. 
co-op third person Diablo type game called Dead House Sonata. I think I heard that somewhere. Maybe it was I just get confused with someone else, something else. But yeah, I'd say I yeah I, I didn't knew that exactly. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Is he working like, quote unquote, alone? I know he's not working alone, but I mean in terms of company. Small team behind him. Okay. Yeah, because what was after Silicon Knights? Because Silicon Knights died. I don't know what happened after that. I think he got another company. Apocalypse Studios. Okay. Fuck. Good. All right, Edward. It's gone. Let's go. Made precursor games. Oh, okay. Which is disbanded. I see. Yeah, and also all the things that happen uh, with the uh, Shadow of the Eternals and all that shit. Kickstarted. Never really worked. All right, so Alex Eleven, what's going to happen here? We're going to get the shotgun and the pickaxe. And watch Max Cutsy and skip it. Main story, writer not be involved in legal issues. Oh. One spell. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean Dennis Diet has has had a lot of bad press. <laughs> like in general. To get one of this, yeah, the two human days, of course. That was the game with all the the, the shit of with the Epic Games, I think it was. No. Okay, you look at me. Look at me. Thanks. You too. You too. I think that's all. I want all of these zombies to look at me. It's very important for later. Oh, Norse mythology, okay. Yeah. Before Edward, I mean Michael, Michael Edwards. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is like. Yeah, for sure. And like, 
What, what, what? Was that the game that was like completely erased, actually? <laughs> well, anyway. So, this is Michael. Michael is a very fun chapter to play on this category. Because we are going to destroy so many things. Yeah, that's rough, you know, like erase an entire game that you just develop is rough. Like taking the, the reasons away is still rough. Lose this one. Nice. That was just in time. Oh yeah, not really in India. Yeah, that sucks. So we're gonna be fighting a lot in Michael, unlike on any percent. Because I want to recover most of my sanity. Because no spells. That means no pull at the end. And a lot of extra sanity damage here and there. So we gotta play safe. But it's actually very fun. It's probably the, the most fun chapter. Of this this challenge yeah it definitely is now we're going to obliterate some horrors I don't need to, to kill the other one actually. I just kill it so it, it doesn't do sanity damage to me. Alright, so read this right here. It's a spell. You don't actually need this spell to beat the game. But this spell is necessary to get the enchanted gladius. And getting the enchanted gladius saves the spell at the end. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trading a spell. I'm trading that spell for the Enchanted Gladius one. And that, that's gonna save me later. So because it's optional but it saves a, another spell, the spell count is gonna be the same at the end. But it's gonna be an easier game for me. good I have three bullets that's extremely good actually I shouldn't went here yeah because I don't have enough magic so I'm gonna do something else first I'm gonna do this this bit first Oh, that that's incorrect. Uh, 
Why is this? Sure, it'll be a good release. The problem is keeping it that way as the game evolves. Yeah, they probably need a better PC. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's, it's good too. I mean, we always want to see good stuff from developers that we know they are good. There you go, Enchanted Gladius. So we don't have to enchant a normal Gladius at the end for Pius. Come on, the axe. Actually, no, I want to ex the explosives. They're not rushing the game, that's very good to hear. It's probably my favorite. Phrase. How much is this gonna take? It started on twenty eight ten. Let's see how much. Yeah. A single attack with both hands that sucks. Yeah, this is more than 30 seconds. It sucks. That was so bad. <laughs> it was like. 45 seconds? One of the worst. You can get an insta deal on 2 seconds. But it's extremely unlikely. unlikely. I've seen like 3 of them in my entire career. Or you can get a fairly fast one on like 7 seconds. Normally you get like 25 seconds around there. Alright, so this part is scary. That's a glitch that I use, it's called Animation Ganso, and uh, we use it to get rid of the knockback of the electricity. Without that, I'll be low health here, and this will suck. It'll still be possible, but it'll suck so much. Ah, um, uh, whatever. No, actually I don't want to ignore that one. Good to go. I think. 
Yeah, I can't receive one sunny damage, it's fine. Actually, it went extremely safe. I could have gone faster than that. Like, a lot faster than that. Last Alex cutscene. So that's one damage. There's gonna be a health damage here. But I know no cap. I, it's actually fine, yeah. I could have received one more health damage without going low health. But that was pretty good overall. Now for the final split. I mean the the actual final one is on is on Pius, but this is like the the real hard part of this category. Pius should be fairly easy. from Michael and the Mantarog of course I didn't forget that this time it's wonderful I need to go upstairs because there's something very important I have to do. So I'm gonna save because this is so important. You don't know how important is this. Hello, friend. Our podcast. Nice. Alright, I want this sanity actually. I need it. And yeah, this health is extremely important. Might be like the most important part of this run. Can I avoid this? Yeah, nice. It's wonderful. So I avoided the vision damage there, very important. Just avoiding one of them is fine. Uh, there's more shotgun shells, don't worry. I'm gonna grab some on the basement. Nice. Good thing I didn't got caught there. It's kind of very important. And shotgun and shells. I'm gonna need those. You got Peach, an Intango game for the N64 before Eternal Darkness. She can't talk about. Whoa. <laughs> Well, I mean, Eternal Darkness was for Nintendo 64 in the first place. This can't be happening! Alrighty. It wasn't too human. Okay. Hard. 
Alright. Hardest chapter in the game. Let's go. could have been better but it was fine really because at least I, I'm not low health that's why I worry about being low health there because that sucks you have to do all these parts slow and it really sucks Way to repair that without a spell, sadly. Alright, so number six is the first one. Because there is a trapper right here. And if you like trappers, this is your chapter. If you always get caught by trappers, this is your chapter. So you, you might be wondering why the fuck I'm doing all this bullshit, right? Well, uh, this is to avoid shields. The intended way to go through Enga is to get into all the shields. Give me a second here. Well, that was intense. There's a bunch of invisible trappers here. I want to get caught by one of them at least. That was on purpose. So, we normally, you normally need about six shields, I think. Either six or seven shields to, to be able to beat Enga without having any damage Though you can reduce that if you take some damage you can reduce maybe do like two shields less But you're still having some shields, but if we use trappers we can actually avoid all the shields that we use It's pretty hard and the only reason why we can do that is because we have this this glitch, which is animation cancel. Otherwise, you get the cooldown of all these attacks, and it sucks. And I think I can actually go without damage here if I keep pausing, like 
a lot, but that's too slow, of course. Alright, not low health, that's pretty good. I gotta go number seven. Uh, she's tired, so let's load this. Let's load another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely a Sonic epic. It's it's part of the the pack of this stream. I don't know if I still have attack on the same spot on my assignments, so I'm just gonna do it manually. I don't care. Yeah, yes. Let's do a cell of that, whatever. You, I need you. Oh yeah, that's fine. Red is fine. Don't look at me. your sonic damage. Okay, I want all these trappers to survive, so it's very important that I don't activate more of them. So you see, sometimes you hear the noise, without even seeing the animation of the electricity. Uh, when I got that, I get a frame perfect pause. And that's like the best one, because you don't lose a single frame of, of the knockback. So now, uh, number five. Yeah, when I say number something, I'm referring to the portals that I activate. I number them from 1 to 9, because 9 portals, and I use a uh, clockwise system, basically. Starting from the bottom. The bottom. Oh, that was close. Bottom left. Okay, I wonder if I can skip this sunny damage. Yeah, good. Everything, everything is useful. So there should be two or three trappers still here. That was a very perfect one. And she's tired. Let's go number three. Now 
uh, Pargan. There's no way around this. So, something that would be very big, regardless of the amount of time it would take, like, let's say, if we find a way to do it, and it's extremely slow, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that matters is that it's possible, and that is find a way around the, the force fields, like the doors, quote unquote, on, on this, this city. Because that would save a lot of spells, like all these spells, for instance. Not yet. I can't fail this spell, by the way. If I failed it, it counts as a normal spell. So what is what is left? I have a bind at this build. And I reveal invisible. That's it, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. Uh, no, I'm not gonna make that one. Hard this one. Uh, three, number one. Yep, I won that. I can die here actually. If I get look by an enemy, but I think my sanity is fine. Yeah, my sanity is fine, actually. Because the camera is not tilted. distance yeah probably so I still have number two yeah I'm fine I don't need these rubbers One. 
Okay. Yeah, the order in which I do this is extremely important. None of these is like um, none of these is random. All of this had has been carefully planned, so I can leave and I won't fuck up my health. Because, yeah, if you do this in a wrong order, you're just gonna die. Because we have to manage the, the trappers. And the health and the stamina, too. But yeah, you, you probably wonder now. This is not enough health to go to the end. Absolutely not. So we're gonna do something here. We're actually not going to go to the end. Yet. That's why I saved some trappers here. It was on purpose. There's another zombie. Yep. Now that one is not gonna look at me. Now we're good to go. Here we have to scroll two times on either direction because there are four rooms and our attack is the second one. Dogs are going mental today. I don't like it. Oh, I think the, the red trapper is far away. That's not very cool. Oh, get out of my way, dude. Another trouble here. Oh no, he's fine. This one is for Sai. Nice. Savages that I can skip are nice.
this should be enough. For number nine. And now prepare yourselves for the madness of this category. Because what is going to happen here might surprise you. So there's three horrors here, but we only have one bind. Well, actually, we can do two, but we are on low spell. That means we want one horror to kill the other two. That is kind of unlikely. Um, so we're gonna be grinding here for a while, unless we are really lucky. So I'm not. I'm not gonna put the that last spell until I actually get this. All right. So that's the first fail. So, get your seats tight for this madness. Because this, this can take like a minute or half an hour. <laughs> so we'll see. This is the big run killer. I gotta close one of my windows, by the way. I'll do it on the next load. Whoa. That was pretty bad. That way we're, we're going to that way we're going to have less bark. So yeah, the, the horror double heal is something you really want to get on any percent, for instance. But you don't really need it. It saves time, but it, it doesn't necessarily save your run, you know? Like, if you get it, it's extremely good. But you can still finish the run, just doing another one. Here, on the other, on the other hand, you have to get it. Otherwise, you're gonna get 33 spells. And that is automatically bad. You know, because of the nature of this challenge. I'm getting some insta kill from the other horrors. <laughs> Sucks. Three hour marker. Also, this fucking cutscene, you have to see it every time. By the way, this will be easier easier if we had Mantrok. Cause the Mantrok um bind is kinda of better. It might be slower, but the the great thing about Mantrok Bind is that it gives shields seven shields actually to your binded horror. So that makes that horror way stronger. And it's way, it, it has better chances to kill the other two. Or at least to kill one of them before it gets killed. That's the important thing. Because you only need two of them to die. You don't actually need the binded horror to kill the, others two, the other two. You only need that horror to kill one before it gets killed. Because then the other one is going to continue fighting. And it might kill your horror, but that's fine because it's still two horrors dead. That's a usual scenario. It's very almost impossible that your horror kills the other two, actually. It's just so unlikely. So 
So yeah, how, how's been your, your day? We got it! Let's go! That was actually kind of fast. You know, yesterday I was doing my first attempt, first unrecorded attempt, and it took me like 40 minutes to get that. <laughs> so that was actually pretty good. Oh, I can't save here. Um, I, I kind of want to save. Kinda bad. Yeah, let's get hot bullets, okay. So as far as spells goes, that's it. That's all the spells we use on this run. So it's, it's technically over. I mean, not not really. Like, there's still something else we have to do. We have to beat the game. Um, but yeah, we, we did the important things. There's still some difficult tricks. So yeah, there's a trapper here, in case you didn't know. <laughs> it's a very weird trapper, a very obscure trapper. It doesn't move, it's, it's stuck there. You, you probably have heard about that trapper a couple times. You knew it? Okay. Like, I always heard that trapper, but I never saw it. Because it's just stuck there, you know, it doesn't move. I want to activate the other zombie. There you go. And actually I want some sanity. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, that trapper... I don't know why the developers did it, but they just got it there stuck. I, I guess... My guess is because uh, if trappers go into electricity, they get the damage, and they die instantly. So, I guess they didn't want that to happen, so they just put it there, without movement, I don't know. It's kind of a weird decision, but I guess. I mean, the, you still hear it when you are on that, on that room, and I guess that kind of gives you a sense of threat. Because there's a trapper in the room, and you don't know where he is. But most people just don't see it. Let's go. Number four, the last one. Yeah, extremely dead, Alex. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Trapper Dimension. This wonderful RNG. Yeah, right? 
Yeah. Like this this run would be impossible without them. Or it wouldn't be as, as good. Droppers are really the protagonists of this run. Especially in Alex, it's kind of crazy how important they are. And I, I gotta say, I'm really impressed that this is actually possible, you know? That it's possible to avoid every single shield. When I was writing this, I thought there might be at least two portals that we cannot do without shields, you know? That was my guess. Because number 8 and number 9 are like really hard. I'm not gonna risk this. I'm gonna go slow. Those ones are, are hard. That little trapper that is, uh, that is trapped there, that saved me. make a split here and the time I get here depends like if I die the time of the load it's gonna go to this split okay and yeah this fight this fight is gonna be not that hard as it was the other day in practice at least because the other day I do have the enchanted gladius now I have it and that makes this fight way easier you, you'll see it it's a pretty fun fight, actually. So, let's go! I don't want you to look at me. slow but I went slow on purpose because I don't want the sanity damage of the artifact remember I cannot I cannot recover here so I gotta play relatively safe Such a fun battle, dude. I love it. Let's go. Chandless without having to use the Gladius. That's amazing. I just fucked up the, the last pause, but it's fine. So that's three hours, almost 12. That was good. I like it. <laughs> like, I expected between three and four hours actually for this run. So I'm. I'm very happy with this, considering I did very stupid mistakes <laughs> in a lot of parts. 
So it is finally over. sub three hours is free. Definitely. The ancient's plans are finished. And I don't know how much now, at least, I can get this lower. You have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you. Just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time. And so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. Yeah, great. Let's do a spell. For the run. Emptiness had been. New knowledge now seeped inside. Something happened then. Oh, I realized that I was not the only one. That there were many others like me. In other places. Other universes. Fighting the same fight. All to serve the needs of the great ancient. And to have my world spared from eternal darkness. Wait, I put I put like two extra parents. Yeah, and someone in Mantarok. <laughs> That's that is like a, an eleven. And eleven so spells to pass. Jeez. <laughs> On the three ancients, there is nothing. The mighty Chaturga has obliterated the insanity of Zenotarth. The madness of Zenotarth has overcome the power of Uliath. The boundless Uliath has decimated the power. Chaturga. All at once, separate and simultaneous. For the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities, all in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains, slowly dying. Corpse God. Mantarok, Keeper, Overseer. Can you see those Order emotes, by the way? Chaos. An entity trapped <laughs> between the veils of reality and the Those are free emotes on my channel. Well, in Franker Facey. Unable to rally its guardians. It could uh, it's actually Franker's face, it's not better Twitch TV. Of the Royless family to destroy its but yeah, it's, it's similar. Knowing the nature of the ancients. But yeah, you can you can basically cast spells <laughs> on my chat if you want. In their mutual <laughs> Festering in its tomb, plotting. All right. Shout out to the Paragons. Yeah, right. Paragon intensifies. All right, let's save this. So, um, that was low spell. Uh, I might come back to this at some point, of course, uh, because this has a lot of improvement possible uh for a next run i can save so much time on kareem max and edward i think those were the ones where i just i i died on edward and i did an extra spell on max so i have to play kareem again you know it was like really stupid <laughs> um and then, like, I can get a pretty good run up to the Binding Alex, and then the Binding Alex can just kill the run, you know? Because, again, it can be, like, 30 seconds or 40 minutes, really. <laughs> it's it's completely up to the, the luck. Yeah. Uh, something I was doing yesterday was, like, I, something I thought, what if I do a, a cutscene in the Bind? Would that make something different? Uh, I didn't test it by the way, so I don't know. Maybe that helps your horror somehow. I don't know. But that that's something I can try to do later. And as far as as the the category, quote unquote, we know nobody, no one else is gonna play this. Okay, so whatever. But I I still want to define good rules, and the rules are basically. The lowest amount of spells regardless of time so if we find a way to get 31 spells 
and you finish a, a run of that, even if it takes 24 hours, it's gonna be better than this one. Okay, that's like the rule, quote unquote. And yeah, with current knowledge, there is no way to lower this this amount unless we discover some glitch. Um, what we basically need is a way to repair items or somehow use broken items without repairing them. That one is very unlikely, by the way. A way to reveal invisible objects, again, without reveal invisible. I think that one is also very unlikely. And the one that it kind of, maybe the most promising is find a way around damage fields so we don't have to use these spells. I feel like that is the one that maybe we can get somehow. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it takes a lot of time. The only thing that matters is, is, is that it's possible. So even if it's not used for, for any percent, whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, and, and that's essentially it. There, there are other enchantments that we have to do, not for repair. The ones that we use for locks like in Kareem and the Alex segment after Kareem, we need a, an enchanted sword to get around a door. And there's another enchantment on Michael. We need to power up the bomb. That'll be another one good to, to skip maybe. But yeah, like from here, again, the only way to lower this is doing more research on glitches. There's no other way around. Try to hack the game and learn more about it. Um, and yeah. So, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for watching this madness. <laughs> 32 spells. And remember, on any percent, we use between 97 and 110 spells so it's, it's kind of a big difference and a casual run I guess you can do like 150 spells even or 200 if you die too much who knows if you play too safe let's say